Okay, this video will show you how to set up the C++ Cloud Compiler code spaces, which uses Visual Studio Code. So uh, that way you don't have to install anything on your machine. Everything will be on the internet and you will access uh, the Visual Studio Code, which is a tool that we use to run the C++ programs on the cloud. So first thing you need to do is come back to GitHub, log in, and go to your home page, right? So it'll usually be ACC, CUSC, 1337, Spring 2023, or semester year, and then course dash and your GitHub user ID. That's the link, okay? Probably a good idea to save this link. Okay, so when you come here, uh, let me minimize this a little bit, and you see something like this. Uh, first thing you have to do is click on the green code button, select code spaces here, right? So right here you select code spaces, and then you select create code space on master. This will create your space on the cloud to uh, run C++ programs. So create code space. And this process takes about a minute to three minutes. So we just have to be patient, okay? So it's building our space on the cloud. We do use Visual Studio Code. Uh, I opt for this because it's very easy to set up. So we wait. Also, once this is set up, everything's configured. All you have to do is learn how to use the tool, right? And I'll create a follow-up video to give you the basics, right? Like it's very simple to run programs on Visual Studio Code, and we don't we don't get crazy, right? Here. We just use the basics, which is to run a program and see the program output, write code <clears throat> in the C++ files that I provide you. You don't have to do anything; everything's already pre-configured for you, and that's it. Okay, so looks like it's almost done, right? So notice that once it's done, then you see this screen. Okay, so you see this screen and you just give it time, let it finish configuring, right? So it'll go through some ins install process for you. And it just just give it time, right? So then what you want to look for up here is this Windows where it says kind of for kids, but you can go ahead and select GCC 10.2 blah blah right. So what this does is it links Visual Studio Code to the C compiler tool that's installed on this machine that resides somewhere out there on the internet. Okay. So we click GCC 10.2. And then it goes and configures your source code. It'll know that we want to use C++. It knows that these are C++ files. And don't worry about this error, right? It has nothing to do with what we're doing. So once this happens, then you're uh, ready to go. When you see this icon here, which is the one we will always work from, see me? You click on it, and then you see this layout. Okay. Just to test the initial configuration, we will go to click SRC to expand it, click on examples to expand it, and then expand Hello World, and then we right click EX0001XE, right click, select Run in Terminal. And once we do that, it'll run a program and it displays Hello World. Okay, so very simple program. I'll talk about a C program in class, but it just displays hello world to screen and my code space is available 
on the cloud. Okay. So one thing I do want to bring up is uh, this should bring up the code space, but for some reason it's not right. So let me close this or close this. So usually clicking on this link would open a code space window for you. It's not working. I'm not sure why. But to open code space again, you come again to your home page on GitHub for this repository. Uh, <clears throat> click the green code button, select code spaces, and then select an active uh, code space, right? So in this case, it's super bot. So if I click on this one, it'll open code space for me, right? So the second time it loads a lot faster. Okay, because it's already configured uh, the environment for me. So we just have to give it some time. Remember, you have to let the CMake icon appear, so it does. And then it goes through some uh, initial configuration, and that's it, right? So down here, it'll say you want to get fetch, say yes. Okay, so that's one way of accessing code space again. Another way is from your GitHub homepage, you select code spaces up here and notice that you'll see the one for this class here so you click on it and then it'll access the code space for you okay so this video has shown you how to set up the c++ visual studio cloud compiler on github code spaces okay thank you